Let's explore how I changed this sound. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, to this sound. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, you can tell right now that I am using an auto pitch or a auto tune if you want to call it that. And I'm using, of course, I have reverb and a few other things that I'll talk about in a moment. But the main focus for this video is the M Auto Pitch. M Auto Pitch is a free, that's right, free plugin that you can use in Cakewalk or any other DAW for that matter. Uh, it comes with a whole series that you can just do a bunch of cool things with. And pretty much any type of effect you can think of, they have. I use it with the intention that I was actually going to tune it up. And of course, when I've sung with it, I was way out of key because I was singing with the M auto pitch. So now let me show you what it does and how to basically use it. So we have the deaf. And if you're not sure exactly what these mean, it gives you a definition of everything. Deaf defines how accurate the output should be. So with 100% deaf, the output usually sounds machine-like exactly in tune with lower deaf the plug-in tolerates more deviations, okay? So right now I have my deaf turned all the way up. Now, if I was to turn it down, then it'll sound more kind of realistic. If you want that more computer style feel or it sounds like a robot, then you might want the deaf all the way up. Uh, then we have the detune. Detune is basically just to slightly put it out of tune or slightly put it in tune, depending on what sense you want to go up. And the speed is exactly how fast it's going to change or process the tuning. So if you want a slower speed, it's going to be very subtle. And if you want it faster, it's going to quickly change. And then you have your bass, which is your basically key center. So in this case, you can click on them. If you want to type in the numbers right now, I have it at 440.1 Hertz. All right. And you can change that. Like if I want to go to 400 or if somebody was in 420, then I can change it to whatever they have it set on. Okay, we can look at dry wet. Defines the amount of the dry and wet signal. So basically, of course, if you want no effect, then just turn it to dry. And if you want the effect, turn it to wet, or you can mix it in between. Okay, basically key performance means that the natural tone or natural tendencies of the voice or the instrument will stay the same, no matter how high you change it or whichever. But if you want to do a formant shift, this is where the fun begins because I can make my voice sound like Darth Vader or I can make it sound like Mickey Mouse because sometimes when you pitch notes up, like Cakewalk does have a pitch shift, which I've talked about before, but sometimes it changes the formant and we don't want to change the formant. Like as I go up higher, I still want to kind of sound like a man. I don't want to sound like a Minnie Mouse singing. All right. I just want to be changing pitch. But in this case, I did raise it up so I sound like I'm a higher. Now, also on here, I added the Clarity VX, which is a Waves plug-in, which kind of just cuts out some of the extra noise that I hear. But it does take out some of the high end. So EQ-wise, you might want to add a little bit more clarity back in there. All right, in FX Chain, I use this. This is for my I'm Sorry song that I started that I never really finished. Oh, well. And that's how that sound transferred from this. I don't know what i'm gonna do activate it's it spend some time i did in hell something came into my If you are a person and you're saying, hey, man, you know, I like this effect, but I'm still interested in more effects. Well, you want to subscribe because I am focusing on a series that is going to explore various different plugins that you use. Some are in Cakewalk, some are outside of Cakewalk that we use in Cakewalk to get those vocal effects that you hear on like The Weeknd, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, et cetera, any of these other artists that are out here that are doing these pop vocals. They have a lot of nuances in their vocal presets. I'm gonna try to focus on those, so stay tuned for that.